Gentlemen, congratulations on your BAFTA for Best Sound for Dunkirk. Such an important part to this film. It was almost like a character in the film. It was wonderful. What does the recognition of getting a BAFTA mean to you? Who wants to pick that one up? Take it? No, go. Oh, the recognition, uh, <laughs> the recognition to receive a BAFTA on a film like this. It's a British film to begin with. It means a lot of heart and soul that was put into this film. Uh, so it means extremely amount. This was my 207th feature film and my retirement film. Oh, so wow. I greatly appreciate the honor that was bestowed upon us tonight. What an amazing film to go out on and yes. what a recognition <laughs> yeah. to get for it as well. That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. The marriage between everything in this film is so precise and so beautiful and so seamless. Be it the visuals, be it the score, the sound, everything about it. Those conversations that you had with Chris about how that was going to be done, was that a constant thing whilst he was shooting in terms of how all that would be married so seamlessly? Yes, yeah, shooting and post-production. Oh, it's, right. yeah. it's Chris's design. He, he, it's his film. He, he existed in his head. Mm -hmm. He described it to us and we tried to carry it out. How easy is it to carry out his, uh, his... <laughs> it's hard. It's just, <laughs> not so easy. This, this sound team has been Chris's team. Yeah. So for us, we understand Chris. We understand where he wants to go with his films. So right off the bat, when we start this sonic blend of this f feature film, that we are on the same direct vision of his. Yeah. So that it's easy to interpret his things yeah. that he was, wishes for in this film. What was the first film you guys worked with him on? Uh, Interstellar for me. Uh, I go back to Batman Begins. Yes. Prestige for me. Insomnia for me. Oh my God. And mine was uh, 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 Bat Batman Dark Knight Rises. Oh, can we just shut the doors and just keep these guys, guys here for like the next 10 hours? We can chat about so many great films. I mean, I mean, you guys are so important to how successful these films are, and I love that these award shows give the recognition where it's deserved to the teams that are behind all these different elements of, of filmmaking. This was such a different process, though it felt like it as well, in terms of the way, particularly with Hans's score, that that, that with the sound was, you couldn't tell where one ended and where the other one started. Good. Was it a different good. kind of, well, that was the you point. did your job that was, good, that was, that was the whole thing. It was a different process. It was yeah. much more uh, detail specific. It's just, there's so much detail mm. in the blending between Richard and what I was doing. Yeah. Can you tell me what all, what you, what you all individually do within the sound I'm team? the uh, uh, supervising music editor. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Greg Landiger. I was the uh, with my Gary partner. Uh, we are the sound mix team. We take all of the sounds and then start blending it with Chris on the stage. Richard King. I'm the sound designer, supervising sound editor. Wow. Uh, Mark Weingarten. I was the production mixer. I record everything on set. Wow. Yeah. Because this is another thing of terms of, of Chris's kind of authenticity that he, he needs and requires with his films. And with this film in particular and the Spitfires and, and having cameras built and lenses built so they could be attached yeah, yeah. so that, you know, that those scenes, you know, with, with, with Tom and Jack and those Spitfires are as real as they could possibly be. Is it your worst nightmare <laughs> in terms of, you know, the, the sound that that creates? Because you can't controlling that I imagine is quite hard. Quite no, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it was my worst nightmare, but the movie was extremely difficult. Yeah. And it was uh, one of the most collaborative movies I've ever worked on. Everybody worked so hard in every department, in every way. And uh, I, I wouldn't say a nightmare, but, but just very, everybody pushed themselves as hard as they could to do it. And I think, I think it came out great. I was really Me happy too. with it. Richard King here is, he spent hours and hours designing the Stuka sounds. Yeah. The airplanes, recording them, flying over to here for re recording. So I'll let you collaborate on that one. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was a labor of love. I'm, I'm, yeah. my, my ancestors are British, and the story <laughs> means a lot to me. And uh, it was uh, the thrill of a lifetime to work in this film. It wow. was uh, it was an incredible experience in my life. I'll never forget it. Well, I'm so glad that you guys got the recognition you so rightly deserve tonight. Huge congratulations, and thank, thank you. you for thank all you. the work that you've done as well, because I'm such a big fan of, of it all. <laughs> Seriously, come back and talk to me about the other films if you have time later. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you.